Now, today, an Accra High Court will rule on an application that seeks to set aside a judgment by the circuit court that sentenced Charles Entry to 10 years after an illegal gun possession. Mr. Entry reportedly confessed to wanting to kill President Mahama in church after he was arrested for carrying a gun. Even before the court's ruling expected today, the Attorney General has also filed an application asking for his conviction to be set aside. Let's speak to my colleague, Kwachia Frenyama, who joins me in the studio. You've actually been following this story. So you were in court on the day Mr. Entry was sentenced. Tell us what happened that day. Uh, so Beatrice, of course, there's a man who had been to President John Mahama's church on four occasions. He had met the president once. On, in fact, he had carried a, a, a gun to the church on three, on, three, on, on three of these occasions. The only time that he met President Mahama, he didn't have his gun on him. And from what happened in court, and, and the first day he was brought to the, the court premises, he made it, uh, the, the, the prosecutors were there just to seek bail, uh, just, just to uh, remand him in police custody, uh, rather. But the Charles entry started confessing. At a point, the, the, the presiding judge, uh, Francis Aubrey, uh, made it clear to him that, well, you are, you are in court today not to you know, give your side of the story and all that. We, we are not starting the case proper today. But he went on, so the judge allowed him. And this was after he had, he had said that he had pleaded not guilty. He went on starting with the fact that he did this he all along wanted to be president he, he thought that uh, even at the time that the late uh, president atamels was president he he, he he thought that that was his, his, his rightful position and after uh, president the, the late president mills died he, he was in Benin, uh, libya i beg your pardon at the time and all of a sudden, he had a sudden, in his own words, mm -hmm. a sudden John Dramani Mahama had become president. At the time, he, he became very incensed, and these pronouncements he, he made all in court. And so, at, at this time, when he was openly confessing, the judge, Francis Obrey, questioned whether he was mentally fit. But the prosecutors insisted that this is a man who, uh, from the way he's speaking, uh, the fact that he said he had planned all this, premeditated, is, is clearly uh, very, very sound, and and the judge the judge continued, and at a point the judge was fully convinced that there was nothing wrong with um, Charles entry, so he went with, he went to in fact the, the expectation was that as I mentioned he was going to be uh, remanded or granted bail, uh, but at the end of the day the judge delivered this uh, sentence to the surprise of many. Mm. Now does it come to you as a surprise that there are two applications for the verdict to be set aside? Well. It's, I, I'm, I'm not surprised by the application on, on the side of human rights lawyer Francis Sosu, but what surprises me is that the Attorney General is now coming to court to say that th that decision should be set aside because these were state prosecutors who were, who, who were, who were in court. The, the excuses that they, they, uh, now I've, I've monitored a comment by uh, some uh, media, uh, some legal brains. They say that these were, were, were not uh, lawyers necessarily from the AG's department, they were police prosecutors, but they worked for the state as well. They were in court insisting that Charles Entry is of sound mind. Now, the Attorney General's department. Is, is in court saying that this decision should be set aside. And, and so it's, it's, it's difficult to understand uh, why that couldn't have happened that day in court. They couldn't have pushed for that same argument. It, it had to uh, take now. When their representatives were in court, it's hugely surprising. But we see how it goes. Please. Indeed. Kwachia Freni Amade, thank you very much. And we understand that the court is currently hearing the case. That's the Accra High Court is hearing the case right now. And we'll bring you the latest on this case. Well, let's return to our story about Charles Entry, the man who confessed that he wanted to kill the president. We understand the case has been a to Monday. I'm joined on the phone lines now by Latif Idris, who is monitoring the events at the Accra High Court. Latif, what can you tell us about this? Yeah, Francisca, um, the case involving Charles Entry and the, the state has been adjourned to Monday, the 24th of August 2015. Now, the Attorney General today, led by Yvonne Atakura, has come in with a new, I mean, approach to this whole case. Now, what the Attorney General is doing today is that it has filed uh, an affidavit in opposition to what uh, the human rights lawyer, Francis Xavier Sosu, 
filed uh, I mean, in favor of I mean, self entry. What My the Senate position seeks to do hmm. is, is to, to, to some extent, expunge what the human rights lawyer has filed uh, in the sense that what they are pursuing as an AG department is similar or almost the same as what the human rights lawyer is also pursuing. So they want to come together and fight the same cause. Now, one revelation that came up today is also that the Attorney General says that they sent child entry to court not to be sentenced. So, so they find a sentence and a bit, they, they think that the judge um, erred in, in, in his I mean, sentencing. And so that is why they are in court today to sort of come up with a, a new ruling uh, as, as it were, Francisca. Thank you very much, Latif Idris, reporting from the Accra High Court, where we understand that the case involving Charles Entry, the man who confessed uh, to wanting to kill the president, has been adjourned to Monday. Thank you.